you know how they say narcissistic people can live in an entirely different reality and they will pull you into it if you allow them? This was my experience with his ex-wife. In the four years we were together, he kept me incredibly isolated from interacting with her. And it wasn't until the end of the relationship that we conversed a little bit at hockey or pickups. He very much controlled that narrative from the beginning. If you're new to my page, my name is Jackie and I'm giving real examples of emotional abuse tactics so that you can spot them in your relationships. So after we broke up, I did reach out to her. I specifically asked for validation. I needed to know that I wasn't crazy in my perception of what had happened in our relationship. I learned very quickly that I was one of his flying monkeys in his false reality. Because when he spoke about their relationship and why it ended, of course he was the victim. Of course she was a liar and a cheater and all of the things. She was combative and rigid and trying to make his life difficult. And over the course of the four years we were together, everything that happened between them in their custody battle demonstrated that. He would show me the texts and the motions and the affidavits and it all fit within the narrative of the reality he was living in where he was a target. But now that I'm on the other side of it, and I have heard her side of it. I see a completely different narrative. I see a woman who set boundaries to protect herself emotionally and physically. I see an abuse survivor who is making decisions in the best interest of her kids. I see someone trying to co-parent with somebody who manipulates every situation, leaving out details, changing the story through logical fallacies and cognitive distortions so that they can look like they are targeted, that they're victimized, that they're suffering consequences of somebody's unjustified hatred. I see a completely different reality. Their distorted reality is the same reality they live in with you, where they try to convince you that setting boundaries, asking for your needs to be met, or calling them out for their crap is abusive and that they are the victim of your abuse. Don't allow them to drag you into that narrative because that narrative is what will keep you stuck in the abuse cycle. And when you do start to identify that you're being abused, calling them out for their abuse isn't gonna help because they also know that only abusers point the finger. So that fuels their victim narrative even more. I wasted a lot of time trying to make sense of his reality. If it doesn't make sense to you, if pieces are missing, if they can't answer questions directly, or if they get angry when you ask questions, if you leave the conversation more confused than when you started, then they are living in a false reality and they're trying to drag you into it. The biggest difference between you and them and how you know that you're not the abusive one. There was a period of time where you believed them. You believed their reality. Did they ever once believe yours?